Welcome everyone to the stream. I am Lokesh on my own personal stream, joined by uh, the extremely cute Raheem. Say hi. Raheem? Oh, Raheem is in here. Uh, one sec. <clears throat> uh, this is a little awkward. This is this is a little awkward. Okay, never mind. Now he's here. Okay, now I can do the introduction again. So, uh, welcome. This is this is a little. Welcome to the stream. Uh, on my stream, uh. Once again, I'm Lokesh, and I'm joined by the extremely cute Raheem. Say hi to the stream, Raheem. What's up, Lokesh's stream? All you beautiful people. Can we get the betting going? I need to go eat. I don't want to miss it. Sadly, uh, I don't, I'm not Twitch affiliate, so we can't do bets on my channel, but you guys will be able to bet on the next game when we move back over to the esports channel. Scuffed stream. Scuffed screen, stream indeed, but it's whatever. But it's okay. VCU went all out uh, this game with uh, hiring their casters. VCU did went, did go all out hiring their casters. If y'all want to help me get affiliate and shoot me a follow, that would be great. Uh, so the next time we have a stream like this, we can actually bet channel points. <laughs> um... Okay, get in all the follows. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, are you in the lobby, Raheem, or no? Um, no. No. It's... All right. She'll invite you. She'll invite you once Muslim Nunu comes on. A sec. We need someone else to run a pool so we can just gamble with real money. I don't know if Rexports will allow that. Yeah. But it is a but it is a fun idea though. So at the moment we, we will gamble channel points. My letter curse. Uh, on my stream. Yes. Uh, you can say and you can't. You can't say. You can say shit and ass and damn, but that's it. No f bombs. No f bombs. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, can I get invitation, please? Yes. Oh boy, dude! I cannot wait. To see this game unfold. Sniped versus Rams of Vendetta. Or rather, it's not Rams of Vendetta anymore. It's Team Solo Rock. Uh, let me just double check the red side, blue side. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's t it's sniped on blue side. Um, schedule... Sniped is on blue side, y'all. At David's team, move to red side. Sniped is blue side. Nah. <laughs> All right. So for this stream, we're going to experiment a bit. I've implemented a transparent Twitch chat that y'all can see during game. Uh, so we can have Twitch chat up for our YouTube VODs. And just let me know after game if you liked the implementation. If so, I can implement it in our future streams on the eSports channel. And if you don't like it, just tell me to remove it, and we'll do it. Get rid of transparent chat while in-game. Very simple. All right. Okay, so I guess we're not doing transparent chat. I actually just got shot down, dude. I did get shot down. It's sad. It's okay while not in-game, but while in-game, it's a no-no. 
guys, I tried typing in my Twitch password and sensors. Look. Oh, let, let me try. That's uh, that's a lie. So it looks like we have uh, many comedians in the chat, all <laughs> going for the same joke. Uh -oh. yeah. Wow, twenty nine viewers, the most I've ever gotten. Must be because of VCLCS. Yeah, dude, you're actually popping off, dude. You're going crazy, dude. I'm going crazy. Twenty nine viewers, man. Holy shit. Ah. Thank you for the follow, Hannah. I appreciate it. You can say thank you to me as well, because I told her to follow. Oh, thank you, Raheem, for the follow, and for telling mm -hmm. Hannah to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is Red's actual password. Hi, I'm Kelly's sister. Alright, well, Hello. you know, we're into... What the fuck? All right, there we go. Hold on. Oh yeah, Lokesh, you gotta add BT or Franker Z face emotes or better BTTV emotes. Uh, for some reason the bands are not working properly. I don't know why. I thought I put it in right, but I guess not. So, uh, Lokesh, you scuffed it. I did scuff it. Let's fix it real quick. Oh my god. Let us fix it real quick. <laughs> it's on. fine. Man, do you know how much time and effort I spent teaching you that? All right, so dude, I put uh, it in. Main. I guess it just didn't save on OBS because I don't stream on Streamlabs. I stream from OBS on my main Twitch channel. Oh, I see. Yeah. So wait, some of the bands are working. So I think maybe you just had something on the wrong layer. Yeah, oh, the final layer didn't save properly, but I have fixed that now, so. No, you put that behind. Yep, all right, there we go. All right, now it's working. All right, let's get into thick bands. Uh, it's like uh, Team Solo Rock banning Seraphine Annie away from Sniped while Hecarim, Shen, Udyr are gone from the side of uh, Team Solo Rock. But they have left Shadow Spade's Yorick up, so... Got to keep that in mind. Shadow Spade is a Yorick one trick, and they decide, you know what, we're not going to give Youngest Lay, Hecarim, or Udyr. He's taking away two really strong carry threats in the jungle. Honestly, I really think that they should have just, if they're not going to just first pick Olaf here, they should just three ban jungle uh, first rotation. Uh, Olaf is actually in a, such an insane uh, position right now. Oh, they're f first picking Kaisa. Kaisa's in a really good uh, position as well. One of the best uh, blind ADCs. But uh, now we have the Olaf for uh, TSR to uh, pick. Because not only is Youngest Lay very uh, comfy on that champion, uh, champion's also really good right now. So we'll, uh, we'll see what they uh, what they go for. Yep. But it... I, I'm really feeling a Tristana. So we're seeing the I'm Kim Tristana. It's also kind of interesting seeing the uh, Seraphine ban on TSR. I know Seraphine is absolutely stupid right now, but um, I think uh, Ari XP is by far the best Seraphine player in VCU. So, <clears throat> well, I can confirm her Seraphine is kind of nasty. Uh, is that that is Artemis on Lux once again? Actually, uh, he played it in our game. What? Oh, never mind. It's Artemis on Ari and it's Lux support. So Artemis was an Ari one trick back in the day, and he has one best Ari VCU. So there we go. The the signature Ari coming in from Artemis and Shadow Spades Yorick. So you know the so. OTP champions are coming in left and right for both these teams. Uh, for some reason no Olaf picked up yet for Team Solo Rock. Uh, like, I really don't see why they're holding their jungle pick. They really don't need to. Like, I mean, I understand that uh, Shadow Spade is a Yorick one trick, so, I mean, picking him blind is cool. Wait, all right, hold on, sorry. Snipe banning Lee Sin is actually troll. Um, I really hope they're paying homage to the legendary youngest Lee Sin that absolutely 
uh, dominated game or round one of uh, VCLCS this semester. <laughs> absolutely dominated round one you mean did well early game and then didn't do anything once Hecarim got an item right pretty much yeah yeah so Kha'Zix taken off the table uh not not wanting to give Goner Hecarim more Kha'Zix but you know like okay there's the Olaf ban but the thing is what does Goner play now because Goner only plays Hecarim and Kha'Zix and he's not that good at either champion so you know, uh, low cash face cam. You want a face cam? Seriously. All right. I mean, I'm kind of ugly right now, but I will do. I will turn on face cam for my viewers. Uh, what's up? What's up, gamers? I am kind of ugly right now. Uh, I, I've looked better. Trust you me. Take that back. Can you uh, center yourself in the camera? You're like in one corner. There we go. I have to like move my laptop a bit, but yeah, now we can, now we can see. Y'all can see my face. So y'all can see. My, I'll like, I'll like make this smaller so y'all can see the rest of draft. There we go. This is my boyfriend, Lokash. Everybody, <laughs> you um, Orn and Zach locked in for sniped. Um, I'm not a big fan of Zach actually. He kind of needs items to get going as a tank, and once you get grievous wounds. In this like particular scenario, the higher, the more grievous wounds we have, uh, Zach actually slowly starts killing himself by casting abilities. Do you know that, Raheem? Yeah, that's actually really funny. Yeah. Well, I feel like I mean I don't think Zach is necessarily in a bad position right now, uh, but I feel like they kind of just threw their jungler on Zach because what else do you pick? Like Lilia is open, but I don't, both sides don't seem to play her. Uh, it's Talia is also open, but I mean, this is VCLCS. I don't think there's a single person in the school who actually can play uh, Talia jungle uh, optimally. But uh, I don't know. I feel like this draft. I'm about to definitely... prove you wrong. I'll be become best Talia jungle VCU. It's in the works. Trust me. I cannot wait to see that, Lokesh. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, give me one second because I'm going to transfer to my hotspot because my Wi Fi go boom at 10 30. So, give me one second. No worries. While Raheem is transferring over to the Wi-Fi, let's get some let's get some questions in the chat. Uh, I'd be best to lead jungle VCU if they wouldn't ban it. Uh, we've seen your match history, Vice. Uh, you shouldn't be talking. <laughs> but um. Let's get some questions in the chat. Who do you guys think will pick up the win today? Will Youngest Lay come out victorious with Joko Lyoko in the mid lane, or will Sniped prove some haters wrong and pick up a win? And will Goner not be trash in the jungle this time? Let's find out. Youngest Lay all the way. Only love for my boy David. Sniped wins. A lot of sniped fans in here in the chat. Sniped stands for stream snipe to victory. Can't stream sniped with a uh, with a with a delay, you know. Uh, put up a straw poll. Um, I'm kind of lazy, but you know what? Sure, why not? I will gladly put up a straw poll. I return to my train. So, going to this game, Luke, I should you feel one draft because uh i feel like some of these picks in the order of which they were picked was kind of a uh, kind of weird in my opinion i uh, okay i i like the tristana into kaisa because you can with the halo blades uh build going around lately you can like get your um you can get your uh your bomb out really fast uh, and then I do also like the Leona because you can lock down the Lux and you just have a lot of kill threat after level two. Uh, I do also like York into Orn. Orn, I think York kind of beats up on Orn. 
uh, early game, mid game, late game, in the split push, whenever. Uh, I don't like the Galio into Ari though. I think Ari's actually pretty a pretty good pick into Galio, but you know, I feel like if you're Joko Lyoko, you're not really used to playing mid lane. You kind of want to facilitate uh, your challenger jungler, so I'm fine with that pick overall. Um, but I do really, really like the Kane into Zack. I think Kane into Zack is one of the freest jungle matchups out there, and you can just farm for free. You farm way faster. You can get to objectives before him. You can get to ganks before him, and you can keep going. Uh, once you get your red form, there's literally nothing Zack that, that Zach can do. What are your thoughts, Raheem? Do you agree with me or disagree no, with me? I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, this is definitely a gore drinker angle for Kane. Uh, unfortunately, the snipe picked too many tanks because there is this really cute uh, blue cane build where you go prowlers and tier, and it's really funny. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I ran yeah. prowlers tier cane. Well, I didn't go prowlers. I went eclipse because they're kind of getting tanky, and I needed to get the percent health damage. But I did run tier on cane, and it was really funny. I found a jinx under tower, and I pressed W and auto, and she died. So. Yeah, so it was about, it was right. really funny, but yeah, you're you're definitely right. I really feel that um, Team Solo Rock has the better comp. I feel oh no the the J was it J K Lol Joko just Lyoko? just say Joko Lyoko. That's, that's all we need. Joko Lyoko. Joko Joko Lyoko. I'm I'm calling him Joko. So, uh, Joko. I don't think he uh, has played more than five games on Galio. I have not looked at his OP.GG, but I feel that, like the conversation between uh, him and his jungler going into this game was, what mid lane champs can you play? I can play XYZ. Can you play Galio? I mean, I can try. And that's good enough. Because, uh... how do I word this? Team Solo Rock likes to put uh, mid, mid laners on... Galio or champions that they don't play just because it fits the comp better. And I mean, while they do have the better comp, um, Artemis probably knows this matchup like the back of his hand. So I don't know. I feel like Galio is probably just going to end up getting abused here. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I. <sighs> I can trust in Johnny to play around David decently well. They have been practicing together a lot, so uh, I can see it happening. I'm glad he's on Galio, not Twisted Fate. Uh, Johnny did go 0-15 on Twisted Fate in a normal game a few days ago, so I'm glad he's on Galio and not TF. Uh, but Ari, Ari has a lot that she can deal with Galio. She's got movement speed boost to get away from Galio taunt. She's got the charm to prevent... The engages, she's got... Like, once she hits level 6, it's really hard for Galio to catch her. So, in the 1v1, Ari is going to be perfectly fine. But I think it's really about team cohesion. I mean, the Team Solo Rock has got a really strong, like, four-man comp with Triss, Leo, Galio, and Kane. And Yorick is a really good side lane threat that nobody on Sniped can match once uh, it hits mid-game. So, it's going to be a while. Uh, it... it it's going to be an interesting game. Um, Snipe's going to have to go for a lot of uh, picks and force uh, advantageous fights when they have more numbers. Uh, Team Solo Rock wants to death ball with four men and then have Yorick uh, pressure a side lane. Ideally, Yorick pressure a side lane. A couple of people go match him. Team Solo Rock death balls the remaining members. So, I think that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the goal here. Can we take a minute to talk about the fact that neither side picked? Or ban Rel. I feel like that's tr like traumatically illegal, and somebody needs to get executed for that. <laughs> neither side <laughs> banned Rel. Yeah, not, neither side picked or banned it. Like the champion was up, and then instead of picking Rel support with Kaisa, we have Lux support. I mean, uh, I think uh, I, I think uh, 4G fans can attest to uh, Rel being overpowered and. 4G being cracked on that champion, instrumental in uh, victories, and we can't forget Caruso's performance on Rel against uh, Team Solar Rock in Week One. Yeah, that champion is that champion is not okay, for sure. Yeah, like actually, it's not okay. And the fact that both sides just don't, just kind of forgot that she got released. I don't know. 
it's kind of questionable. All right, let's turn on scoreboard, Honestly. turn off time controls. All right. Here we are, like loading Goku, into uh, game. They actually could have flexed Malphite and taken mid. for Because uh, what, Joko is like the Malphite mid? Yeah, he is the Malphite Inner. one trick, and honestly, Malphite mid isn't bad into uh, Ari, Kaisa, Lux. You just get like an ult off, and then Kane comes in and murders everybody. So it is what it is, but, you know, opted to go for the Galio. Probably wants a lot more uh, pressure in the mid jungle two v two. That 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 would be my guess, uh, and that's perfectly fine. Younger Slay immediately going extremely aggressive onto Goner, opts into the Dark Harvest pick. So this is probably going to be the Man and Blue Cane that we were talking about earlier. Uh, Pog, I I I, I want to see it. I'm excited to see it. Basically, I mean, if you manage to get on Kaisa, Ari, Lux, and none of these none of these guys are surviving. So yeah, they have uh, like a, a lot of engage with uh, Aegis and Zach or Goner, sorry. But the question is, like, are they actually going to peel for their carries, or will they kind of just get blown up? Because if uh, Kane has just free access to their carries, then they are like Blue Side is not winning this game. So let's uh, hopefully they're able to actually like play their. I can't say comp, because I don't think that is a comp, but hopefully they can play their team right. For sure. We'll definitely see what happens here. Uh, immediately you see the poke coming out uh, from the Ari when he got on the basic trade. Gets the electrocute off. Yeah, just a lot of punishment down on Joko Lyoko. Immediately yeah, Artemis is going to look to put this lane in a favorable state for him. Joko says he doesn't care. I got six CS. You can poke me all you want. <laughs> Yo, that's the case. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they went for the Orn into the Yorick, considering Yorick, Yorick was locked so early in the draft. Um, Iacus yeah, plays a. Had... Go on, go on, go on. It's, they actually just had like free counter pick on top. I'm pretty sure they did it. They just, yeah, they did it. They did, they did. Iacus oh, yeah, plays, did, yeah. like, a really, really disgustingly good Irelia. So, I mean... Like, for his yeah, elo, think... like, his Irelia is up there. Younger Slay, going a little aggressive. Oh, where, uh, I need to pull up the multi.gg. I don't know uh, the rank of these players. So, what rank is Ironhearts? Ironhearts is silver at the moment, low silver. And for Aegis... Yikus, uh, he he peaked gold two last season, but he hasn't played a rank in oh, this season. Yeah, I don't know. Charm I feel landing like onto Joko Lyoko. Tom I mean, comes Kaisa in. Is insane right now, but you can still play Kaisa and have strong side top. Also, you know another thing that I noticed about uh, draft, Senna was also opened. Senna was open. And neither side wanted that either. Neither side wanted Dude. Senna. Uh, and, this is uh, solo Senna's kill exactly for Artemis. Good. In the mid lane, flashes forward, gets the first blood. Joko Lyoko standing still to take the charm into his face. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit in from uh, Joko there. I'm not sure. Was that brain lag? What was it? Actual lag? Was it brain lag? Was it? I want to give him the benefit oh, of the doubt know. and say he was looking somewhere else on the map. But Ika is putting a lot of hurt down onto Shadow Spade, flexing his Orn muscles early on in the lane. Goner, unable to actually farm any of his camps because Youngest Lay is just up in his face all the time. However, Yikus is coming down to provide some support for the Scuttle Crab. Let's see if they're able to get a pick onto the Kane here. Kane going aggressive. Gets knocked up by a Orn. Just going to dash through the wall out of there. Flashes past the charm. Excellent two man taunt from Joko Lyoko. As the chase continues down onto the Ari, bit more is coming through. Cage is put down. Shadow Spade picking up the kill onto Artemis. Well played from the side of Team Solo Rock, going very slowly. Patience played off for them. Yeah, I feel uh, 
the blue side probably wasn't paying attention to uh, the waves in uh, both top and mid and didn't see that York was coming. Uh, they saw that they they had Pryo and they got onto the cane first, but they do not have the damage to uh, kill him, so um, both mid and top were able to rotate. Yeah, Turn like that, uh, quite favorably. Ultimately, Orn kind of has a bursty combo, right? So, like, once he blows his load, and he didn't land anything there except for his knockup, right? So, King can just easily shadow step out through a wall and then re engage the fight once the rest of his team joins. He, Youngest Lay essentially broke bought enough time for the rest of this team to come in, picking up a kill onto Artemis. Yeah, pretty much, yep. Yeah. Hey, Slice in the chat. What's up, my guy? It's been a while. How are you doing? For, for a second, I thought you were saying like Sly as in Sly Brad. No, no, no. It's Sly. One of the best uh, ADCs in VCU. <laughs> but. Connor is Alco of gaming right now. Looking for a gank onto I'm Kim Eric's P. Let's see if he's able to pull this off. He's wasting a lot of time, though, so he's got to make this work if he wants to. Okay, gets a knockup onto yeah, Eric's P, but he. He cues Eric's P and then autos Eric's P right afterwards, so he doesn't get the knockback. And Eric's P lives. That was an int from Goner right there. That was super int because not only did he waste a lot of time, Youngest Lay literally has 20 CS uh, above him at six minutes in the game. I feel like that should not be happening. Uh, Zach is not farming his camps. He is already two levels behind. So Ari has no flash here. The taunt is coming, level. however. Just barely gets the move speed boost to escape. But yeah, keep going about the jungle matchup. I I lost my train of thought because uh, I got some hidden info that Eric Speed does not play on lock screen. She just holds space bar the entire game. And um, <laughs> hey, I, what? Genuinely, no, I, gen I, I genuinely do not know what to say. Like, am I, I, I can't. There's no way that's real. <laughs> Wait, no. There, there's no way that's real. Well, that aside, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about how <laughs> Red Team is getting an early dragon here. Uh, further extending their lead, Youngest Lay already starting to stack up the tier. Getting gonna get gonna get close to that uh, man immune cane where once he completes that tier, it just becomes an unstoppable one shot threat. Gar is struggling, to say the least. I mean, he's down 20 yeah, CS. Really, he doesn't really know what he's doing. Uh, I really don't think Zack was the pick here. He, he really wasn't. I mean, Yorick Maiden. Aik is going for the 1v1 against Shadow's Fate, but my friend, I don't think you win this. Ornhorn is coming down. Misses it, actually. Very uncharacteristic of Charlie. He's probably super tilted. As we see Joko Lyoko roaming up towards the top lane. Youngest Lei... Has queued over the wall. Might actually fall here. Never mind. Gets the ult off onto Iron Hearts. Never mind. Dies to Iron Hearts here. Iron Hearts gets the last auto attack off, but I'm Kim slays MT Kelly, continuing to put the pressure down. Let's see if she goes aggressive, decides to jump on the Kaisa here. Uncharacteristic int from Yunga Slay, but it happens. Artemis. Gets a very good roam off, picks up the kill onto the Kai'Sa. Galio ult comes through, but Eric's P is probably dead here. Maybe, unless Joko Lyoko can save him. Iron Hearts falls to the Galio. Eric's P dies anyways. That was a really messy fight. I mean, one for one. Yeah, I mean, really, really messy fight. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, this is definitely content. This is a game. This is League of Legends. It might not be... The best League of Legends gameplay, but it is League of Legends. We can't expect these guys to be on the level of your amateur team, Raheem. That's the thing. <laughs> don't I, I don't want to talk about my amateur team right now. Oh yeah, true. I'm, Never mind. I, 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 I'm going to I'm going to lose it, Logesh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to lose it. Uh, but on oh, so, <laughs> so my coach told me to not talk about this, but because nobody knows who like or my old like teams are, or my players are, I can. Uh, there, uh, There's a chance I might get my original support from my first amateur team to play uh, on my new team. So hopefully that goes through. 
That would be pretty pog. Indeed. That would be. Right now it's pretty much uh, even gold, but like uh, there's a, there's just such a huge CS deficit in the in the jungle. Like youngest lays up like how, like God knows how many camps now. Yeah. Probably like Still four or five camps. 20s. Though gang coming yeah, in like, onto Artemis, that's going to be an easy kill. Is, Shutdown uh, goes over to Galio. Six camps, but six camps. Putting, yeah, that's putting all the what's it called? The, all the gold on uh, Joko Yoko, aka like the actual carry, the best player on the team. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What, uh, Monster Galio is going to do. It's two so and one right now. He right is now. popping off. Yeah, what's the button that makes it so I can look at the gold? Press X, sir. Press X. Yeah, so he is sitting on almost 3k gold right now. I have no idea what he's holding onto that gold for. Uh, I don't know. I think he's trying to save for his uh, future or something, but... He's trying to hit he's his rocket belt power back. spike, man. What can I say? Almost like a whole item. I think... I think. I, yeah, he just full buys oh, no, the rocket yeah, belt. Yeah, yeah. full because he had the, uh, the amp tome. Uh, this is a Q over the wall, but it doesn't matter. Goner is forced to Goner's quickly gone. jump out of there. Oh, I think I see why they will call him Goner. Because he's because, a goner. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. He's a goner. <laughs> I feel like in uh, in the fights that will be happening pretty soon, he, he will also live up to his name. I can probably attest to that, honestly. Uh, he's extremely weak right now, and as I mentioned before, Zach is a very... He's an interesting case, because he's one of the most item-reliant tanks in the game, and he's not good, because you get Grievous Wounds, and he starts killing himself just by using abilities, so... I mean... Yeah, healing in, like, this current season is absolutely stupid. I feel like it's so overtuned, so... Like, not buying uh, Grievous here... It's, that's just in. So, 100%. They're going to be buying Grievous. I'm mean, Kelly could be caught out Grievous here. Grievous. Eric Speed goes aggressive. Gets the stun down. I'm Kim picking up the kill credit on that one. Quickly jumps out. Joko Lyoko doing battle with Goner Ironheart's ults in aggressively. But a quick buster shot from Tristana will facilitate the disengage. You actually just can't, like, walk up like that. Like, that you... You know that, like, there's... Or, it, they had the control word in the try, so they probably had a false sense of security, but they lost a vision of uh, the Leona, and Leona can E over the wall and hit you from uh, if you're in try. Yeah, so, Eric's P smurfing um, out here, but the 1v1 comes through for Joko Lyoko. Shutdown goes over to Artemis. Youngest Slay is really low right now. Ironhearts picks up the kill credit on that one. Not looking too hot on the cane at the moment. Zack is put into a blobby state, but he should recover fine because the support of his team has arrived and a re-engage could happen soon. Eric's P is forced to flash out, and that will prevent any further fight from occurring. 2 for 0 in the favor of Sniped in that quick exchange. And they do get the Earth Drag, so that benefits Sniped because they have two tanks. Quick knock up on there. He's going to get rid of the Maiden. Should give him a little bit of pressure back in this lane. Although... Still, he's feeling the hurt of the Yorick, and the Trinity Force is almost completed for Shovel Man. As Goner looks to... Never mind, he's just taking the Raptors. Yeah, at this uh, point in the game, like, Orn... I, I actually don't know if he can match inside lane if he does not... Does he have Grievous? He does he not still have does not have. still does not have Bramble. I feel, uh... Eventually, he's going to want to buy that, because uh, he will not be able to match uh, York in side lane. Oh yeah, for sure, 100%. I mean, with the Trinity Force already completed, I think it's pretty much over for the Orn right now. Yeah. He's pretty much there for, like, ulting. He's, he's an ult bot at the moment, just... Pretty much. Tank him as much as he can, but does he honestly have form? Still doesn't have form yet. Would be nice to see in spectator mode... 
how close Kane is to form, but unfortunately, Riot's a really good company and has not implemented that yet, so. Artemis throwing some poke down onto the Galio. Game has come to a standstill. Goner is hovering top. Gets the knockup onto Shadow Spade. Knocks him back into the Orn. Continuously provides the CC, but I think Shadow Spade's okay to keep running, flashing the Orn Horn. Smurf flashes that. Yeah, he played that really well, I think. I mean... Oh, Eric's been going really aggressive onto Ironheart's empty Kelly, forced to flash away from the Tristana. But Ironheart is continuing to free fire with the Kraken Slayer, doing so much damage. Eric's been forced to back away. Youngest Slay going aggressive into the jungle of Sniped at the moment. Just quickly cues out of there as Eric's Peak ends up dying to Ironheart's. Just freely lets him get auto attacks off back and forth. I'm Kim is now on the receiving end, but the TP is coming in from Yorick. As a 1v1 happens in the mid lane. There's a lot of fights going on. Yorick just barely saving I'm Kim from an inevitable demise. Although that does put the side of Sniped in contention for the Rift Herald. As Joko Lyoko is forced to just to sponge into Flash away from Artemis. Trading the ult for a flash, which yeah, I think is worth. The is super just gone, dude. With uh, Yorick, Tristana, the like capability that you have to just shred not even shred just destroy her it's is actually just insane yeah meanwhile while the bot tower was going down artemis gets ganked from behind by youngest lay just immediately one shots him with the blue cane opting for the dust blade over the prowler's claw in this case and i think that's fine i kind of do like dust blade on blue cane i think that's current okay that is a dead cane really well played bind from mt <laughs> kelly uh taking down youngest lay who thought he could get a quick double kill but you know they said nope um i really wish uh my camera was on um <laughs> these are uh there's a challenger caliber player by the way <clears throat> well give him the benefit of the doubt and say his monitor was turned off true or maybe his little bro his little brother was playing with the USB steering wheel. There we go. <laughs> nah, dude, his younger brother was playing with like an arcade stick while he was like washing dishes. Yeah. Because I I just I, I don't know what I uh, was watching. And Dora the Explorer was on in the background. <laughs> Joko Lyoko getting caught out at the moment taunts pretty much nothing, uh, but goes aggressive onto Goner. Uh, Goner just getting a free exit from the fight by I'm Kim. Not too sure what that play was, but the Buster Shot is now down for the upcoming uh, Dragon Fight. Misses the Flash Charm, uncharacteristic mistake from Artemis. I uh, don't know if he was trying to go for Joko Lyoko or Youngest Slay, but the Kane is down to less than a third HP. So they're going to have to play this super slow and super smart if they want to get something out of it. Sniped Let's see what they're trying to go for here. Sniped tries to snipe away the dragon. Let's see if they're able to steal it. Never mind. Tristana picks up the dragon. Goes to the red team. Youngest Light goes down to the Orn. Double kill comes through for Ironhearts. Sniped might have picked up the dragon. Uh, I mean, uh, Team Solo Rock might have picked up the dragon, but at what cost? Three members of their own team dying. This chain really pick is not like going well. Gotten both the dragon and those kills there. Oh no! Wait, I I didn't uh, I wasn't totally paying attention to Orn's uh, TP timer, but he had the advantage. So they went like 100% want to fight that fight. They 100% have the advantage there, uh, and I don't know why like Zach was not on the dragon when Kane was gray screen. Artemis has left the game. Artemis has on. reconnected. Oh, fog. Do have a pause. Uh, yeah, Kane Pig isn't really working out so far right now. I mean, some of these plays have just been extreme over-aggression, and I feel like a bit of disrespect coming in from Youngest Lay. 
Uh, no, what do you agree? Nah, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, this is not Youngest Lay's fault. I think this is, uh, this is the fault of his team, uh, that he can't play the game. Um, it's his team's fault that he is 1-4, uh, even though he has a 40 CS gap on enemy jungler. It's not his fault. He, he's, he's a, he's a, he's an amazing player. He's a challenger. It's definitely not him. That's my take. Gotcha. Iron Hearts might be caught out here by the blue cane. He's just gonna ult away, but you know, you don't think he's gonna pick up the kill. Never mind, actually gets it. Eight hundred gold shutdown goes over to Youngest Lay. However, Zach Goner picks up the uh, return kill on that front. Not one and four anymore, but he is two and five, so you know. He's getting there. He's got the shutdown. He's looking to finish up and I think the uh Caulfield is gonna end up being the man immune and the uh Serrated Dirk will probably be like a ghost blader in Edge of Night. What are your thoughts? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Sounds right. I don't I don't think this will be an Umbral Glaive game coming from Youngest Lay. Eric yeah, P looking for the not. engage but doesn't happen. Goner also looking for the engage but just decides to jump over to the mid lane. No fighting will happen yet. Shadow Spade and Eek is doing battle in the blue buff pit. As Goner comes down for an aggressive play onto Shadow Spade, Lux ult comes through, Ornold comes down, another missed Ornold. Uh, let's just ignore that and move on. Goner going really aggressive once again, jumping in, misses pretty much everything. Uh, <laughs> does, like, does anybody like landing skill shots in this game? Uh, no. I, I don't think so. I, I feel like, oh no, maybe Garen should be their champion of choice, or like... Okay, blue buff stolen away. Know. Dude, he's mauled. He is mauled right now, and Goner is definitely complaining. Artemis doing 1v1 Artemis. against Time Kim, but Iron Hearts is around the corner. Kaisa does have ult. Lose that 1v1. Artemis does win that. Will lose that 1v1. Artemis nah, loses bro. that or wins? Yeah, he no, he loses. Like he, he misses the, the charm and then Q is just sent to Africa. And then Kim, I think he autoed, got to auto him twice and chunked him. I feel like uh, Kim 100% could have killed him if Kaisa wasn't there. But if Ari landed everything... Like, Oh, if Ari lands everything, obviously, yeah. But Ari just didn't, so 100% uh, Kim could just kill him. Yeah, yeah, I mean... It is what it is. The game has kind of come to a standstill. Next objective on the map is Dragon, coming up in 1 minute and 10 seconds. Youngest Lay, really close to finishing off the tier. I'm not sure if he has enough for me. He does not have enough for Man Immune. Uh, so, still working on that. Um... But once that happens, like, it's a huge spike for him. And you don't have to talk about, uh, I don't like Stormraiser on Tristana this game. I, I would have preferred Kim go for the Phantom Dancer and just get the passive off and start just shredding these tanks. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I, I just think Phantom Dancer is such a, such a good item right now. Yeah, dude, yeah, Phantom Dancer is nuts. Um, like, I, I get, like, maybe Kim just went on, like, u.gg or op.gg just to look at a Tristana build. Uh, I don't know what the case is, but I definitely feel that uh, a PD right here is not bad. Yeah, I, I do he, really enjoy a PD here. Youngestly looking to get caught. Ironheart's going aggressive on top of the cane, actually. But he does live. Ends up killing Youngestly, failing the assassination. Well played from Iron Hearts and Co. Would anybody believe me if I told you guys that this is a challenger uh, ranked player? I'm Kim jungle. going aggressive. Shutdown goes over to Iron Hearts as Eekus in the backside of the fight so the, going the, aggressive. The question I have is why is I'm Kim in their back line when our front line is nowhere to be found? Literally like across the little wall. I... That's what I would like to know. I mean, it's VCU LCS. We can't really put uh, put finger on a, you know. Yeah, but put Goner feel... on Nunu like Shane. I, I Shane's a good jungler, 
But Goner yeah, needs like to go Shane, on Nunu because he's not a good jungler. Like Sh Shane plays Nunu because he he knows how to play the champion. He has more than three functioning brain cells, and he's like, he knows how to path. He knows how to play the game. Cool. <laughs> has more than uh, three functioning brain cells. <laughs> Uh, speaking of more than three functioning brain cells, Goner decides to face check three people and goes down immediately, so. Yeah, he kind of just lose drag right there. They are on soul point right now. Youngest Light definitely kills him this time, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's getting a little worried there. <laughs> if they uh, actually, or if Orin timed his CC right, he would be able to get the knock up on uh, Kane and Lux the R. I don't know what. I mean, it was ambitious. It was, uh, I like the, the, the effort. But can't really just throw things at champions that can't get hit by things. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it's what it is. Nah, dude, my favorite part about casting VCLCS is just talking all of the crap. Dude, my flaming lives, people my is my fun. That's why I cast. I, I can't say the F word, but I can say the S word. Yeah, you can say shit. Yeah, dude. I love talking shit. And what I want to know, though, is, uh, I'll come on VCU Mainstream, we can say F-bomb, but on your stream, we can't. I mean, we can't say it on VCU Mainstream. Wait, we can't? We can't, yeah. Oh, Shane lied to me. Uh, Youngest Lay. Looking for a flank, going aggressive. See if he just gonna put some W poke down. Super long range on the blue cane. Eric's P. Goner missing a point blank. Engage. Onto an Eric's P who is right in his face. Put this man on Nunu, yeah, please. Leave these DLCS if that didn't happen. Please put this man on Nunu. Uh, but what happens when you give him Nunu is that he's gonna like try to snowball in and just completely miss and then he can't do anything. Okay, he lands it that time. Actually lands a skill shot for once, and killing off Eric's B there. Joko Lyoko. It's a multi-man taunt of That's a lot of damage coming in from Youngest Lake. Going immediately onto Iron Hearts. But Nevermind just does not have enough damage. Gets killed off immediately. Opts in for the Ghost Blade over the Man Immune Spike when his tier is already full. But it doesn't matter. I think... Uh, does this Yorick clean this up? Double kill coming in for Shadow Spade. He's popping off 4 on one right now. I'm Kim jumps forward into Eikus, picks up the kill, just barely lives with a sliver of HP as Shadow Spade continues to chase down onto Goner. That is a dead Zack, most likely. The Maiden is targeting him. Shadow Spade picks him up. That's an ace for Team Solo Rock as they ping towards the Baron. Well played from Shadow Spade and I'm Kim, honestly. And a nice three man taunt from uh, Joko Lyoko. Honestly, dude, at one point, like, in the beginning of the fight, I thought this was going to be free for, uh, Sniped. I have no idea how they kind of just threw that. I kind of need to, uh, watch the replay, but we do not have instant replay. I, I genuinely think the top side, I, I, this game is literally just Iron Hearts and Four Wards at the moment, so. I mean, the Orn is kind of a non-factor, and the Zac also just doesn't exist, so it's literally just Iron Hearts. Um, but like you have like Zach and Orin for CC. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. They I I just see this. Hap we'll have to take a closer look. But what I think is happening, they're just watching. Uh, everyone just run down Iron Hearts as he's trying to do his best, and then like they just keep trying to dive. I'm Kim when it's just not working. When he should just probably focus on killing the cane first and. Then try to front to back with your extremely fed Kaisa, but you know they're they're just not doing it. Yeah, like Kane also like into the fight pretty early. They, at that point, they could have just like slowed down the fight and just. Okay, they caught out Eric's P. An actual angle instead of just fighting for no reason. But Eric's P is actually just committing war crimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just blind into their jungle. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. is something I've noticed a lot when watching her play. She just, she's like, oh, I need to get a ward off here, and then she just dies because she doesn't think about who, oh, who could be there? Do I have my team to back me up when I ward? Or yeah. now, There's just a lot to think about before you can, you know, actually do something crazy. Artem is going aggressive onto Youngest Slay. Excellent dodge on the charm, but 
No, he might end up going down here. Galio ult comes down, flashing away. Artemis going aggressive, probably going to pick up the kill onto Young Slay here. Never mind, he's still alive as the rest of the fight comes forward. Eek is going aggressive onto I'm Kim. He's going to get dropped immediately. That orange just melts like paper. Gar looking for a re-engage, but going he's re going on to Shadow Spade and not too sure what he's doing. Man, what are you doing? You're so bad! That's actually just it. You're actually like, so bad! Who, no, like, who paypal these junglers? I really want to know. Is like, who who paid them off? Is like, I, I really want to know the thought process behind Zach going back in. Oh my... I mean, like, Youngest yeah. Lay is not playing well at all, but like... Oh no, not at all. But like, at least he's doing things, right? Garner has not done anything, and the one thing he tried to do, he just completely entered it. Yeah, so... I really don't know what the thought process was, because he f blew his flash. Well, well, I guess he tried. He wanted a Q flash uh, auto of the Triss to get the, 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 the CC. I'm pretty sure he had ult. But that just didn't happen, because and his team was not even in a position to follow up like that. So that was just super hard. In it. Oh, no, was dude, a hard. I like teams or like I feel like uh, in DMs are like, yo, let's make this game a banger. Let's just keep like just throwing the game back and forth, see uh, who ends up winning. For sure. Forget that none of us are pros. Please be respectful of the wildlife. I will keep that in mind. I will be le I will be less harsh. We'll still be harsh, but I'll be less harsh. So, Raheem, what are your thoughts? Is this a free Iron Hearts angle? Uh, yeah, dude. I like. I honestly feel bad for Iron Hearts. This guy has been playing very well. He's been playing as best as he possibly can. He didn't build Ravnus Hydra mind. this time. He did not build Ravnus Hydra on Kai'Sa this time, so... God bless. That's a plus. Now, I'm like, actually in the bag, maybe looking for a flank, but they immediately spot him out with some wards. Uh, I think that Kane's just gonna dip out of there. Yorick is literally in, up to their inhibitor tower. Like, holy... I'm getting this caught, actually. Uh, yeah, that immediate shutdown! That's going to be a lost fight. Uh, Ironheart's going aggressive onto Eric's peak. Double kill comes in for the Kai'Sa. Could be a triple kill once Joko Lyoko falls. Triple kill for Ironheart's excellent pick onto Eric's P to start off. Uh, I'm Kim and Eric's P to start off the fight. Shadow Spade TPs in aggressively. He's probably going to go down. Uh, flashes over the wall. I think he's safe for now, but that's Literally, a barren angle. Or does that does that do they do they, they don't win the game right? They don't have a they don't have a minion wave. Nah, they they, they don't end. But like, actually, what is this game? So both top laners had TP there, um, and then so Shadow they're just Spade opting to tank, to bot, um, thinking that their team or his team would actually, uh, you know, not in, and that he would be able to put uh, pressure on bot lane. He was wrong. He ended up TPing extremely late after the fight was already dead. Uh, Young Slay was actually not able to do anything that fight. Um, well, honestly, so it was, it was really weird because um, they, I feel like Red Side actually had a really good uh, position to like collapse on uh, the four that was in mid while um, Orin was clearing uh, wave bot because they actually had five. There was what? There's two top and I think so, no, one top, two bot. Uh, bot side and then two mid so they easily could have just collapsed right there and fought a 5v4 but they choose to not do that and instead they fight a 4v5 and uh they, they lose uh, a lot of well they don't lose a, much but they lost a fight because of that goner is probably caught up what man like you just just press q man just press q please press q okay he's still dead uh that should be a free okay so what should have been a free baron for sniped is now going to be a Baron for uh, oh for Team Solo Rock. I mean, so this is just I, throw I, I, after throw after throw, and it's just they're they're throwing the 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 game directly up like vertically, and just trying to see who who's going to catch it. Because like this is this <laughs> the is youngest lady committing war crimes. Dude, Ironheart's dude, also guy, committing a war I, crime. Honestly, dude, oh my god, you're like. There's so many things I want to say, Lokesh, <laughs> but like I can't because uh, I, I I will res respect your stream uh, rules. But holy shit, man! 
actually <laughs> just, just a mongrel. Bro, it's like we're like it's literally like we're playing spin the wheel and like the wheel lands on like some random player and that player is the one that commits war crimes. Sometimes it lands on the same player, other times it lands on a different player. And you know, Shadow Spade currently committing the war crime of building Cerildas on Yorick, so uh, <laughs> I mean, I think Daniel says it the best. Eric Spee isn't committing war crimes. This game is a war crime, which is correct. This yeah, game, actually, this game is an absolute banger, man. I'm enjoying every second of Goner's, it. Yo, Goner, actually, I'm calling it, dude. Goner's just going to oust my David. <laughs> no, dude, that's Cap. That's Cap. <laughs> Goner is currently 80 CS behind David. He's been behind, like, he's been at a CS deficit ever since the game started. Um, but it actually just doesn't matter. And that's why I like I love this game. It's uh, very quality content. They're actually even on kills. There okay, a that's a large, lot of damage. Well, maybe uh, there's why the Cerildas was picked up for Yorick. Uh, Goner going aggressive onto Shadow Spade, but the Galio comes in very aggressively. Why are you trying to save the Orn who was already out of the fight? Doesn't matter. Ironheart's is extremely fed. Picks up the kill. Double kill goes over to Ironheart's. Traded just for Goner's life. However, he is going to go down here probably. Never mind. He has the GA. Eikus is going to... Ah, triple kill for Ironheart's lives with 1 HP. Everybody oh is committing war crimes God. on the side of Rams of Vendetta. Deep, dude. That, this is what th these players are. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. These are not human beings. These are actual <laughs> apes. Free Iron Hearts. These are. What are they? These, no, these are literally like. So, you, you take a like a little chicken, right? Uh, you like throw him on like the keyboard, <laughs> and he's like pecking at the keys. <laughs> Th this is what these players are. They're just chickens picking at keys randomly. Because <laughs> that that is. The, quality of gameplay that we're witnessing you know what's funny they get this elder dragon but i don't even think they're gonna win with the elder dragon i think this game's gonna go to like 70 minutes like i genuinely think this game's going to 70 minutes yeah like i was honestly like really hoping i told hannah i was like yo i really hope this game's just a 20 minute so like i can just finish but uh this game is definitely going to go into an hour I hope it does. Quality content coming in. Come more, more quality content coming for you guys. This, you know, like we'll we'll see if they decide to force a fight with Elder and end the game soon, or if they decide, you know what, let's just let's just walk back and forth well, between a couple of towers and ping pong waves. Oh wait, Younger Slay's really? caught. Never mind, committing war crimes once again. Oh my god, hey, this is Challenger caliber player, by the way. Um. This is definitely his team's fault, though. I, I think Youngest Lay, like, if his team was just there with him and there to support him, and, like, it wasn't his fault that he blindly goes to face check uh, Bush with absolutely just <laughs> no vision. <laughs> the content never to... ends. Eric P once again trying to kill a ward solo. Oh Ironheart's is legendary. 25 and 4 on the Kaisa. This man is a god. Free Ironheart's, bro. Get me out, dude. Get me out, dude. Free Ironheart's. This man is a monster, man. Free him from his misery. Put this 38-minute game on Synapse. Dude, it deserves to be on Synapse, bro. Let's see what the Elder Timers are. Uh, let's just take a quick look at a uh, Goner here. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing Elder Timers. It's just saying he has the Elder buffs. So, thank you, Riot Games. Uh, but it should be timing Riot out Games, soon, uh, I think. Very great company. But, like, remember when I said that they wouldn't win even with Elder Buff? I don't... Yeah, they're not... They didn't end the game off of that. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're stalling their own Elder. Well, Younger Slay like looking for a pick. Finally has his Muramana, so he, we could see some bigger damages coming out. Ironhearts has not died since he got his GA. That GA has been up for a long time. Like, he's dude, just Ironheart's he's just a beast. the blue right from Artif's, like, face, dude. I mean, he's and the AD carry. He's the 80 carry. He's 20 and 5. I think he deserves everything on the map right now. Oh yeah, he, he yeah. This 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 entire jungle belongs to Iron Hearts. No, this entire game belongs to Iron Hearts. Elder gets you nothing if you can't get Baron. Also, that is true. Actually, you kind of need to like kill everybody. But if you don't have a wave, then you don't have a wave, and you can't push to end. That is true. Um, elders win you team fights, but. Team fights don't necessarily win you games. You need a you need your wave states to be in a good spot in order to win a game off of an elder fight. At that moment, Snipe did not have a wave in a good spot for them to actually end the game. Hence, uh, 
Hence, Red Lightning is correct on his uh, on his analysis. If they had Baron though; they could have definitely ended. Since at that point you just like go to the nearest wave and just push to end, and your minions are just turbo OP. Nah, dude. David didn't run it. That, that was his team's fault. <laughs> Raheem, admit like you kind of you're kind of happy this game went long. This is like this is a banger, dude, man. I, this is a fucking I, banger. Honestly, like, wait, I accidentally uh, cursed. I cursed. Oh shit! I, no, ignore I, that. I, I have like I've I've had like an insane uh smile on my face. I just sound salty, dude. I've I've been geeking this entire time. That's why I've I wanted my camera to be on, because this game is actually amazing. Jungle Slay is definitely dead here. Oh, he flashes that. Never mind. Gets sniped by the Kaisa W. They're now all backing to kill off the rest of the the team. I think. Uh, never mind. The thing is, like, they have Honestly, Ocean Soul, right? I just I don't know why you're saying anything to me when uh. You're, you're you're trying to put your your hot, your hot takes in the chat with your uh, superior analysis. I don't, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's your forte, buddy. But continue, Lokesh. Uh, I was just okay. Eric's piece caught, dude. Okay, here's what I don't Again. understand. They have an Ocean wait, Soul. Wait, what was that flash? What was that? Wait, what was that? Zach flash. I, I just don't. Okay, here's the thing. One team is definitely gonna win. I don't know which, but at the end of the day, both of these teams are they they lost the game, right? Yeah. So. Goner going in aggressive onto I'm Kim. Uh, Galliold comes down, gets dropped pretty much immediately. Joko Lyoko just falls like paper. Doesn't really matter much oh there. I'm Kim getting caught by a freak binding Artemis, flashing forward. The quick QSS flash prevents any more deaths from happening. Iron Arts goes aggressive, shut down onto I'm Kim. 22, 5, and 6 on the board. You know, this game's over. I think that's a surrender coming in from them because my game has bugged out. But yeah, I think yeah, we bring in Iron Hearts for the interview. One hundred percent, we bring in Iron Hearts, dude. This guy's an actual monster. Indeed, so, is a monster. The thing I am just very, 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 very confused about is hold on. First, look at would you agree that jungle is by far the most broken role in this game? Oh yeah, even after the nerfs, it's by far the most broken role in the game. Yeah, right. So we we take a a um, what rank is Goner? Goner is gold he, something. I don't know. Right, yeah, so we take some random gold player, we play, put him against a challenger player who's playing his main role, which is jungle, the most broken role in the game, and then he is up by double CS at literally three minutes in the game, and then uh, is also able to go 6-13 and 13 and completely throw away every ounce of a lead that he had because uh, very, very poor decisions. Yeah, like, actually just Challenger Kane, lol. Like, actually just Omega, lol. It, it is what it is, but, you know, I, I do need to bring in... Is sniped in the chat? I guess Ironheart's... Uh, hold on. Wait, at Ironheart's. Come, interview. Hop in any chat, I pull you. The viewers want an Ironheart's interview. Yo, who's this Alex Twitch uh, TTV or TV guy? This guy I is don't know. Hilarious. Yo, Alex, do you go to VCU, dude? You're fucking hilarious. Brandon, keep, please keep betting against us. Where? Where what chat is Iron Hearts in, bro? Where is Iron Hearts? Uh... Where is Iron Hearts? Iron Hearts? You go to a real school. <laughs> what school? If you say GMU, dude, I'm going to lynch. Oh, I'm going to send you and your family on a all inclusive trip to France. French Canada. Where is Iron Hearts? Oh, Iron Hearts is nowhere to be found. There he is. Move to live cast box. Iron Hearts, 22 kills on Kaisa. Dude, 23 kills. 23 kills, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. All right, well, you know, it is... It, it, that was quite a performance, man. How do you feel after that crazy win? I feel really good because I was expecting that Kane to murder me over and over again, but it turns out he just entered into me over and over again, which was much better. Yeah. It, it turns and, out. 
when you aren't getting one shot as ADC, it's pretty good. Yeah, I was getting one shot a little bit uh, at, in the early mid game, but uh, after a little while, he just seemed to not be able to kill me as easily. Oh, that yeah. was a rough game, though. I'm real stressed out. <laughs> yeah, definitely, dude. I feel like uh, that entire game, you're probably stressed out of your mind because like one little mistake from you could have just easily ended in a fat L. Actually, yeah, no, 100%. I take hundred percent. Uh, because you you guys ha did do some uh, little b burger flippy stuff, uh, throwing the game back and forth, but it actually just didn't matter. Yeah, no, it felt it. super close at multiple points. Like we we could have just at any minute lost a team fight and lost the entire game. Yeah, they were very good, honestly. And shout out to my roommate Shadow Spade for hardcore carrying them with the, his Yorick. I, w I wasn't even paying attention during picks and bans, and my team was like, we should ban Shen. And then after they banned Shen, I was like, oh, wait, Blake doesn't even play Shen. And then he just immediately first picks York, and I was like, oh, no, we might be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were almost. Almost. He had, I want to see his uh, uh, turret damage. So we, somebody from our chat is asking, by somebody, I mean uh, Dane, the lead head <laughs> for, our, uh, for VCU, is asking, uh -huh. why no Hydra? Where Why no thoughts? Hydra? Um, I don't know. My uh, Dane has uh, shamed me enough. I went to sleep crying last night because he wouldn't play with me anymore <laughs> because I kept building Hydra. So, you know, I just decided to build other things this time. I still hey. hate having no lifesteal. I mean, yeah, no lifesteal is kind of kind of a suck situation. Could have gone to BT maybe for lifesteal, but I did like the... Yeah, I mean, it didn't really matter. You're just kind of murdering everyone. I mean, yeah. at, at some point, you just... Uh, I feel like a switch just flipped in your head is like oh shit eric's p is walking up let's just kill her right now yeah no basically the leona kept being way out of place and we just killed her over and over again and then that made the team fights way easier were you ever worried once they picked up the ocean soul you're just like oh man they can just group and just perma start healing Pretty over much. and over again mm. yeah no once they got the soul it, it felt a little down there but then we just kept getting the picks and that's all you need especially when the cane was playing like super far away from his team uh, York was always split pushing, so it was like if we get a pick, now it's like a 2v5, and then we just kill the rest of them, and then the Kane and York slowly start coming, and then we kill them too. Like they, they were not ever fighting as five, which did make team fights way easier. Well, congrats on your victory, Iron Hearts. Glad to hear some inside I, I thoughts know, into the high into the brain of Snipe. What are your thoughts on you have any other questions, Raheem, before we move on to the next yeah, game? I do. So a wise man once said, <laughs> better jungler wins. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, what can I say, dude? Gunner's kind of a psychopath. I love playing with him. This guy's crazy. True, <clears throat> dude. He's always making the plays. Also, apparently, he, he, I'm... He was so generous here. by trying to give uh, David like a free early lead, a free advantage, because he knew that uh, it just wouldn't matter. Yeah. The reason why he called Gunner is because, hey, enemy teams... Are <laughs> exactly. Every, every time. <laughs> yeah, our uh, our uh, like pre five minute strategy was a little scuffed, so that's why that that's that's why he got so behind. But uh, we definitely picked up the pace after that. Yeah, one hundred percent. But uh, good work, man. All right, of course, GG's um, guys. Thank you guys for the future of uh, VCU LCS. Of course, bro. Ironhearts is back with a vengeance. VCU LCS kill leader, come take the crown if you can. All right. Well, thank you for the interview, Ironhearts. We're gonna stop the stream on my channel here right now and. Do some behind the scenes uh, modifications. Switch over to the VCU Esports channel. So join us on that in an, a couple of minutes, guys. See you soon. Love you.